of the country where the government has proven itself unable and, uh, or unwilling to defend the Negroes when they are being brutally and unjustly attacked, then the Negroes themselves should take whatever steps necessary to defend themselves. And one of the best methods by which this can be done is to establish rifle clubs. It's legal in this country to own a rifle. This doesn't mean that the Negro is going to initiate some kind of aggressive action among any, uh, against anybody, but it does mean that the Negro will be serving notice that no longer does he believe in turning the other cheek and being the constant victim of someone else's brutality. I'm not dissatisfied with everything. I'm, you, what you are able to see with your analytical mind is that everything that is offered doesn't produce what it's supposed to produce. And I'm just telling you that it doesn't produce what, it produ what it's supposed to produce. The only way the problem can be solved, first, the white man and the black man have to be able to sit down at the same table. The white man has to feel free to speak his mind without hurting the feelings of that Negro. And the so-called Negro has to feel free to speak his mind without hurting the feelings of the white man. Then they can bring the issues that are under the rug out on top of the table and take an intelligent approach to get the problem solved. That's the only way that they'll ever do it. We need an action program while we are Muslims, or while we are Christians, or while we are whatever we are. We still need an action program that will eliminate these evils that are in our community. And this is what we're trying to do with the Muslim Mosque Incorporated. Do you consider yourself militant? <laughs> I consider myself Malcolm. <laughs>